26 in the pass to Alamu. Jump shot by the big fella. Got it to go. No worries. But if you're seven foot one, you don't need her. Florida State's big man on campus is back on the court. Solomon Olaby, FSU's 7'1 center, was forced to the bench last season with a stress fracture. This year, he's healthy and using his height to help the men's basketball team gain defensive power. Uh, it's always good, to, though, to with your pressing and if you're full court pressing or if you're playing zone defense to have the big hand in the back to, to cover up for some of the mistakes you make. Solomon has shown he can provide the big hand FSU needs. Coach Hamilton also likes Olaby's attitude. Well, he has such a competitive spirit. He's uh, hungry uh, for, for knowledge. He's like a sponge. He's a coachable youngster that uh, is eager just to contribute. Even at over seven feet tall, it's easy to fit in on a basketball court. Off the hardwood, it's another story. Solomon usually orders his clothes and size 18 shoes online. Fortunately, getting team gear isn't an issue. It really isn't a problem because Nike has done such a great job with their research and development and feedback from other equipment people that uh, their basketball line is actually completely different from any other line they do. I know for us normal sized people, Solomon is really big, but uh, in the world of basketball, um, it's not unusual to have seven foot players anymore. I'll never know what it's like to be seven feet tall, but the height that helps Solomon play basketball isn't always an advantage off the court. It's like the height att attracts a lot of attention, but I don't know if it's a good thing, but it's like when I'm around small people, they just like try to ask me questions and see how my life is being tall and my bed, how I take a shower and stuff. That's all I face when I'm around. <laughs> And just where does a seven foot one college student fit in the classroom? Well, it depends on the day. I usually like to sit at the side so I won't be in front of people. And sometimes I sit at the back. Sometimes I, I like to sit at the front too so I can have a leg room, you know. But Solomon doesn't let the everyday challenges his height causes take the smile off his face. He left his family in Nigeria for the chance to play basketball in the U.S. Now, Solomon leans on his teammates for support. He's just a real nice guy, you know, humble, always smiling. He's, he's just goofy. Sometimes you're down, you just have no chance. You have no choice but to laugh when he says something to you. And Solomon will say just about anything for a laugh. His teammates don't pull many pranks on each other, but they do like to hear a good Solomon story. We just sit there like listen to Solomon just give us stories and stuff like that. You know, how he killed lions and how he, you know, just basically stuff that he do, how he's a soldier, how he's be go back home, he's gonna be king, but he's just be joking all the time, but it's cool though. Solomon Olaby may not be a real king, but his personality, work ethic, and height help him rule on the basketball court. I'm Sarah Tyson for Seminole Sports Magazine.